What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a plant-based meal prep for the week. I just got back from the farmer's market and the grocery store and I'm gonna show you how I prep and plan out all my meals for the week. I got lots of greens from the farmer's market, some carrots, some beets. So I'm gonna be prepping all of my greens. I like to store them in containers so that I can like easily access them throughout the week. And I'm gonna make some instant pot recipes. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. I make plant-based recipes, meal preps, grocery hauls, and make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my videos. And let's just get on with it. This is what I got from the farmer's market. Everything is organic. I have some kale. I either put this in a smoothie or I will shred it up and put it in a salad. Or if I'm cooking a soup, I'll add some to my soup. I'll probably do that today, actually. Then I have some collard greens. I like to put collard greens in a smoothie because you can't really taste it as much as you can taste kale. I have a purple cabbage. I prep this by shredding it up and put it, then throughout the week I put it in my salads. Or I'll add it to a stir fry. I have these two huge heads of romaine lettuce. I got some beets. These are the best carrots I've ever had. I've been buying them every single week. These tomatoes are so good. I got them from Grocery Outlet. I got the avocados from Grocery Outlet and these mushrooms from Grocery Outlet. So yeah, that is my produce haul for the week. I also wanted to mention I rarely buy fruit anymore because I use mostly frozen fruit. I do that because you don't have to like wash and prep it. You don't have to worry about it going bad. And I mostly put fruit in like a smoothie. I like to buy my frozen fruit from Trader Joe's and stock up on it in my freezer since it doesn't go bad. I love these wild blueberries. They are higher in antioxidants. Um, this very cherry blend is really good in smoothies. Um, some pineapple for smoothies. These cherries are really good defrosted and just like eaten as a snack. Um, and then I also have some other veggies like rice cauliflower, edamame to throw together like a really easy stir fry. Um, yeah, we have some broccoli down there. And then other things I like to keep in stock are um, lots of nuts and seeds. I have these organic hemp hearts from Costco. I like to buy most of my nuts and seeds from Trader Joe's because they have the cheapest price. So I have these walnuts and pumpkin seeds raw sunflower seeds, raw almonds, and I make my own nut-based sauces and dressings. Um, and I also have just some bean pasta in stock if I wanna like throw together a pasta dish or stir fry or something. So yeah, this isn't really a part of this week's meal plan necessarily, but I just wanted to show you what else I keep in stock so I can like throw together a recipe. I use this Trader Joe's fruit and veggie wash. I love this stuff. This makes my veggies so clean. And then I rinse them thoroughly because this is really like foamy. And yeah, I'll just show you my whole, pro whole process. Wow, that is some dirty water. I'm gonna take this outside and water my plants. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with my collard greens. You know, you don't really have to do this. Probably just like a good rinse is good, especially this is all organic. But I don't know, I just like to use the fruit and veggie wash. Might be a little bit like overkill, but I just have a thing like I really, bugs in my lettuce really grosses me out. Yeah, you could probably just like rinse these off and it would be fine. So once I like soap them up, I go through each individual leaf and I rinse them off. I'm gonna repeat the process one more time for my kale. Kale is the one leafy green vegetable that I feel like has a lot of pests. So I definitely like to do this veggie wash method with the kale. Once I rinse them off, I put them on a drying rack so they can dry off a little bit. Thank you. 
rinse off this cabbage. Okay, I know this is gonna make a lot of people cringe, but I just rinse off my mushrooms in water. I cannot be bothered to spend the time to wash them with a dry paper towel like you're supposed to do. And I would not normally do this if I wasn't gonna use them right away, but I'm gonna make these into soup. Okay, and now we're officially done. Here's all like the outer leaves and the stems and stuff that I'm gonna put in my compost pile. I bought these containers for the fridge from TJ Maxx and these have been perfect for storing my greens. all of this lettuce and no container to put them in so I'm going to put them in this reusable bag next I'm gonna shred up this cabbage cabbage is the one vegetable that I feel like you can get away with shredding it up and it'll stay pretty good in the fridge okay. This is gonna be really weird, but I don't cook these. I leave them raw, I just cut them up, put them in a bag, and that way when I wanna make a juice, I either put them in a juice or I blend them up into a smoothie, just a little bit, like half of a beet. Um, it turns your smoothie the most beautiful purple pink color. And the beets also stay good like this, surprisingly for a long time, even if you cut them up. So here is a before of my fridge. I have an entire thing of cabbage that I never used from last week. So I'll definitely have to use that. I bought these mushrooms to make dehydrated mushroom pieces. This is just some random stuff that I bought from Trader Joe's midway in the week. Got some broccoli that I got from Trader Joe's. An entire loaf of bread. I've been eating avocado toast for breakfast, so we'll eat this for breakfast. Okay, so my veggie prep portion of this video is done. I'm gonna make a couple cooked things to eat throughout the week. So I'm gonna be making some pea soup. It's been kind of cloudy out, so soup just sounds pretty good. I have my Instant Pot here heating up. I'm gonna add in one onion. Oh, after I washed my mushrooms, I always dry them with a towel. So I'm just gonna chop these up into small little pieces. Did you know that mushrooms have a carcinogenic compound? I think it's called agarotene. That's why you should cook mushrooms and not eat them raw because it, once you cook them, it gets cooked off and that's why you should not eat them raw. I'm gonna splash in some veggie broth. I'm gonna add in my chopped mushrooms. And I'm gonna save these mushrooms for my next recipe. I wanna make egg rolls, cause I bought these egg roll wrappers. Okay, next I'm gonna chop up some carrots really quickly, but I'm not even gonna bother peeling these. I'm gonna add in all these carrots. This is quite a lot of carrots. Add the garlic in. Next, I'm gonna add in one pound of dry split peas. <laughs> for some meaty texture split pea soup usually has like ham or bacon I like to add just like a half a cup of this TVP for that like meaty texture you don't have to do this but it'll also add some protein the rest of this veggie broth 
about two cups worth. I think there's only like two cups left. And some water. I'm gonna add some more water. A couple bay leaves. These are all broken. A teaspoon of thyme. My favorite seasoning that is discontinued. You can just substitute this with some regular salt and some garlic powder and onion powder. This is gonna be like a lower sodium soup, so I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of this. But if I were just using regular salt, I'd probably only do like a tiny pinch, like a quarter teaspoon. Of I'm gonna add some Mrs. Dash. This is my absolute favorite seasoning. Like I add this to everything. Aldi also has a version of Mrs. Dash that's really cheap. So I usually buy it from Aldi, but I got this from Groshell when I went today. I'm gonna add, let's do two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of Mrs. Dash. Pop on the lid. Turn the valve to ceiling. Press cancel. And then manual or pressure cook for, let's do 15, 16 minutes. I super quickly just threw together these white beans great northern beans. Um, I added in Italian seasoning, some garlic, and some a sprinkle of mushroom seasoning. Let's do 40 minutes. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna be making vegan spring rolls. This was not in my plans at all, but then when I went to grocery outlet, they had these egg roll wrappers. I'm gonna use my food processor to um, make this go a little easier. I'm going to chop up these mushrooms. I'm gonna make kind of a lot, so I'm gonna just mix all of my chopped ingredients up in this bowl. Throw these in here. Add a couple carrots. Garlic. Add these to my bowl. So this is, I hope this is still good. This is cabbage that I prepped last week and I never used it. Chop it up a little finer. That was like a whole head of cabbage. And lastly, I'm gonna add this block of tofu. I got this from Trader Joe's last time I went and I'm just gonna break it up with my hands. I'm gonna add some of these green onions. I got these at the farmer's market a couple weeks ago. Add this in there. Oh, it's kind of turning into a paste. It's not good. I'm gonna mix it all up. All right, the tofu I, I kind of messed up on. It's a little too mushy. So this is my filling. I'm gonna just cook it down a little bit. To season it, I'm gonna use a little bit of this mushroom seasoning from Trader Joe's. Just a little splash of this liquid aminos. Some ginger. I know this is kind of lazy, but... Oh a little bit more. And some red pepper flake. The tofu is kind of throwing this off. If I were to redo this, I would add in the tofu after I cook down the vegetables. Uh, I kind of messed up a little. I just watched a tutorial on how to make these. So you take your egg roll wrapper, brush the sides with some water. Then you take about three tablespoons of your mixture. Fold in the sides. Fold up the back side. And roll it up. <gasps> Yay! This is so fun. I'm gonna do the rest of these off camera because this video is gonna be really long and I need to save memory card space. So I'll see you when they're ready.
here's my finished pea soup. I like it when it's completely like smooth like this, but if you want yours a bit chunkier, um, I would cook it for less time. And it needed a little bit more seasoning, so I added a little bit more of the Mrs. Dash seasoning. And then I divvied up my white beans. This is how the white beans turned out. Yeah, I'm basically gonna put these on my salad. Maybe I'll make like a hummus out of them and I can dip my carrots in it or something. I'm just gonna divvy up this pea soup into containers. It's still boiling hot. I've had it cooling for like two hours. Here's all my soup. It was very sweet for some reason. I'm really sad that this one lid is pink and it doesn't match the rest. There's all my soup. And here is the final reveal. So we have the egg rolls. Me and Colin already devoured four of these, so this is all that's left. Um, those are some of my milks in the back. Collards, kale, lettuce. This is kind of a lot of greens. I have a feeling this is gonna last us a while. I plan on putting most of them in juices and salads. Here's our pea soup. There's one more in the back. Um, sprouted bread, I'll probably make avocado toast for breakfast. I ended up washing the tomatoes and putting them in here so I can just easily use them. I feel like uh, a lot of people don't put their tomatoes in the fridge, but I honestly can't really taste the difference. Sparkling waters down here. These are Colin's bars that he likes. Black seed meal. There's also chia seed and some nut butters back there. The white beans I made, carrots, some shredded cabbage, lettuce again, and then pretty much everything under here is what I already had in stock. I didn't buy any of this for this week. It's just kind of leftover random mix of stuff. There's some cheeses underneath here. Um, one thing of tofu left over from last week. I really need to use these yogurts. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make like a dressing out of them for this week. Then in here is more of our prepped lettuce, beets, um, more cabbage, and this one bag of lettuce left over from last week that I need to, I'll probably eat this today so it doesn't go bad. And then over here is more stuff left over from last week that I've just thrown in here. Okay, these carrots were hiding way back here. <laughs> So, good thing I found those. Random stuff that I picked up at Trader Joe's last week. And there's my finished meal prep. I am so happy I did this. It's gonna make life so much easier this week. So, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, let me know if you wanna see more videos like this and make sure you like and subscribe before you go. I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, bye.